Hey everyone, welcome to the weekend. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Saturday. I'm uploading on a Saturday. Ugh. Normally I try to do a video every Friday and this last week I had some health stuff going on. I'm okay, but I just needed a couple days to recuperate. So I'm uploading on a weekend. I wanted to do a little segment a series on my channel all about at-home devices that you can use on your skin. This was a special request from my subscriber, Allison. She reached out to me on Instagram requesting that I talk about at-home devices, ones that I approve of and ones that I don't so much approve of. If you have any devices that you want me to talk about, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to be talking about at-home microneedling devices, specifically derma rolling today, and why I don't approve of them. In the comments, if you have any knowledge or know-how or opinions about derma rolling or at-home microneedling devices, leave what you know in the comments. Let's get started. Okay, so why is at-home microneedling devices not so good. Okay, so first of all, I do not endorse this because if you're using any kind of microneedling, derma rolling device, something that is going to be wounding the skin and you're at home, you're not in a controlled environment. How are you going to be sure that the skin has been properly cleansed and sterilized how are we sure, how are you sure that the device that you're using, whether it's a roller that you've had for a while, whether you've gotten it off of Amazon, whether it's a pen, that that device and the needles itself are sterilized, not cleaned, not disinfected, not sanitized, sterilized you are going to be going in and creating a wound in your skin on your face on your face it's the only face you have how are we going to be sure that you're going to be in a controlled environment you're not going to be overseen by a doctor who can ensure that you're going to be safe and that you're not going to be introducing bacteria or harmful particles into your skin. On your face, okay? How are you gonna properly get the skin numb? It's going to be very painful. Yes, there is going to be topical numbing agents that you can get off of Amazon, but you know, there's the potentiality of getting it in your eye, getting it in your mouth. You can potentially leave it on too long and have a reaction. So that's another variable that there's just, there's too much room for error. So that's another variable that I don't endorse. And then after you, you know, say that, say that you do the numbing cream correctly. After that, if you remove it all, how are you sure that you're going to remove it all? Because you don't want that numbing cream going into the skin with your derma roller or your at-home microneedling pen. That's just not good. You know, another thing to consider is that when you're getting the procedure done by a technician, a nurse, or a doctor, your eyes are closed. In the at-home environment, your eyes are wide open, you could get something in your eye. You could get too close to your eye with those needles. Ugh. Not good, not good. So there's a lot of potentiality for introducing foreign agents, bacteria, dirt, debris. Another thing to consider, especially with those derma rollers, you cannot adjust the depth. And some of them go to 2.5 millimeters. That is so deep. And the, you, you do not want to go that deep. Oh my God, you just, you don't want to go that deep, especially with a derma roller, because I'll throw up some pictures right now. When you have a derma roller, you're creating a different shape. 
of a wound in your skin. You're not creating like these micro little, you know, perpendicular vertical channels so that collagen and elastin can go in and kind of stretch together and create like a tighter skin. You're creating like a, like a cone-like channel into the skin. So essentially with the drum roller, you're like scratching the skin. You're scratching it and that can create more scarring that can create all kinds of unnecessary inflammation in the skin that you don't want. Another thing, a lot of people will go at home, they'll go right over active acne, which can spread bacteria. How is a person who is not a technician going to know whether or not they're a candidate. You have to know if you're a candidate. Do you have keloid? There's just such a huge margin of error. When you're doing this kind of a treatment at home, I am certainly not for derma rollers. In the treatment room at the clinic, while being supervised by a medical director, I'm all about the microneedling pen with disposable heads. Oh my God, that's another thing. Like the derma roller, do you have disposable heads? Some do, some don't. Still, still. Some people are just trying to like save that money and trying to get as clean as possible, but there's just, you've got to throw away that head. You've got to throw away the tip after every single use. And so I just don't think, I just don't think this procedure can be safely done at home. There is just such a large margin of error where you can really do a lot of damage. You could do a lot of damage. So I'm going to link Dr. Dre's video where she talks about microneedling at length and she talks about why, you know, this is also not a safe procedure at home. And if you guys want to know what other devices you want me to review, I can review at home LED devices, personal microdermabrasion devices. I can do the Clarisonic, I can do microcurrent, we can do any kind of at-home devices that you want to talk about. I would be happy to review and let you know whether or not I approve or not. So at-home microneedling, whether it's a pen or a roller, the answer is no. No, 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 girl, no. Save yourself, don't do this, walk away. Just no, no, there's just the margin of error is, is the, the potential to do more harm than good is just too great. So that is it. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you on Fridays. Ah, <sighs> 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 <sighs>